Um, good afternoon. Um, my name is Emma Bluimana. So we are going to um, the final step, uh, which is calculation and analysis of re reports. So basically, on field, we recorded the number of blows and the cumulative penetration in millimeter. So we are going to insert um, the number of blows and the cumulative penetration we recorded on field. So after recording the number of blows, then um, uh, we are going to record the cumulative penetration in millimeter. So after recording the cumulative penetration, now we are going to calculate the penetration between reading in millimeter, which is the difference in cumulative uh, penetration between readings in millimeter. So the colon here basically is, is the previous cumulative penetration in reading, the following minus the previous. So after Calculating the penetration between readings in millimeter, we are going now to calculate the penetration per blow. So the penetration per blow is the penetration between readings divided by the number of blows. After calculating the penetration per, um, in millimeter per blow, now there is a armor factor. The armor factor here depends on the weight of the armor um, we used. We saw that there is two types of armor uh, that can be used using when conducting the DCP. The armor of 8 kilogram and the armor of 4.6 kilogram. So because we used the hammer of 8 kilogram, the standard method we used, which is the STMD 6951-2018, the armor factor for the armor of 8 kilogram is 1. If we used uh, the armor of 4.6 kilogram, um, we, we would have used 2. After we now going to calculate the DCP index, the DCP index is the penetration per blow times the armor factor, and we get the DCP index. After calculating the DCP index in millimeter per blow, now we are going to use the table, uh, the table two, which is the tabulated correlation uh, between CBR and the DCP index. For instance, now here we have the DCP index 15 millimeter per blow. So we go to the table two, we read 15, we have the CBR of 14. We continue by 40 here, um, we have the CBR of 4.7. Then for the DCP, the DCP index equal to 10, we have a CBR of uh, 20. Then for the DCP index equal to 21, we have the CBR equal to for the 8 is 30, for 21 is 10, then for 15 we have 13, um, 13 7, 17 we have 12, then uh, 47 
we have uh, a CBR equal to 3.9, DCP index equal to 4, we have um, CBR of 60. So um, we are going to check again because we are using Excel, we might have done some error. Uh, we have the cumulative penetration, then the penetration between uh, readings, we have the penetration in millimeter, so we have the AMA factor of 1, the DCP index, which is the AMA factor times penetration per blow, then the CBR will read it from the table number 2. So here we have CBR in percentage. So the purpose of the, this test, which is the DCP, dynamic cone penetration, was to estimate the in situ CBR. So now we can estimate CBR in situ. Then we can um, fill the location, let's say because it's a road, and the road has, let's say, PK uh, 0 plus um, 300. The project name IPRC uh, internal road, plant IPRC. Then, um, so we have the AMA, which is, we use the eight kilogram, um, the test methods, the STMD, that is all for, for the reports. So then um, we can show here, we have a DCP um, device, what we explained um, previously uh, before the testing with all the components. We have the ando, the AMA of eight kilogram, the dropping height of 575 millimeter. We have the envo, we have uh, the sliding attachment, then we have the drive road of one meter. And we have the, the disposal cone tip of 60 degree. That's all. Um, and um, thank you for, um, for listening and, and, and following.